Welcome back. Every year, the National Coffee Association analyzes America's coffee addiction. In 2019, 63% of people reported having a cup of coffee in the past day. It's a nasty habit most of us share, but the behavior of the average coffee drinker has changed in a significant way recently. Now, instead of ordering a simple cold brew or black coffee, it appears more of us need to feel like our drink is a custom design in a cup. Stirring, brewing, or pressing, and with an extra shot of espresso. Anything else for you? That is all. All right, can I just have your name? Ashley. Ashley. I had absolutely no idea there were so many ways to make whatever it is a barista pours in your cup. But apparently Starbucks already figured out what the stats have now confirmed. The more custom the concoction, the better. It was made personally for you by our barista, the one who greeted you warmly and remembered your name is... And rival Dunkin' Donuts has too. Dunkin', like Starbucks, revealed a secret menu with higher-end drink options a few years back. The National Coffee Association's 2019 report revealed for the first time in its 69-year history, 60% of consumers are ordering gourmet coffee compared to the 40% of consumers who order non-gourmet. It found what Americans are ordering at the coffee shop is becoming more upscale, specialized, and personalized than ever before, revealing an emerging segment in the beverage market. Wow. It's beautiful. I'm just going to stand here and look at it. Pursuing that quality for large companies like Dunkin' Donuts and uh, Starbucks is uh, difficult right now. With this emerging sector of the coffee industry in mind, Starbucks is trying to find its own blend in the gourmet specialty coffee market. A journey where we wanted to create an immersive customer experience around roasting, brewing, small batch coffee. And nothing made that more clear than the details presented at the opening of the Chicago Starbucks Reserve Roastery, the world's largest Starbucks. They're just trying to say we're, we may be a huge company. We may, uh, our bottom line may be fueled by uh, caramel lattes, but, but we really know coffee and we're right there with the leading edge. about every interaction that our partner has with a customer, each one of those is custom, right? And so even if it's the same drink, the way it's delivered, finding out what's important in that connection, uh, we thrive on that. Are you getting my anticipation? Yeah. <laughs> so I figured while I'm here, why not pull up a chair and get a taste of a custom coffee drinking experience? I want your honest reaction. Ready? Cheers. Starbucks promises every inch of its 35,000 square foot five-level roastery will provide customers with what it calls the ultimate experiential retailing experience. We're selling the environment, the atmosphere, the music, the sound, the people. And that's what retailing is. It's not about just selling a product. It's about creating an environment that people enjoy. And that's what this store is. The branding is consistent and clear. The R in the roastery logo doesn't just stand for reserve, but rare. Instilling a sense of rarity in the gourmet drinks new generations crave is a must for larger companies. I think that we'll continue to see uh, a desire to one up, to be the cooler person at the cafe because you know what coffee to order. I want you to stay hydrated. Let me know if you need to help. No detail was too small to customize. And judging by the wait times just to walk into the building on a typical afternoon, it seems the strategy is paying off so far. I would say the experience thing that they're trying to do, they've pretty much accomplished it. Like, I forgot I was at Starbucks. I don't know if that helps their marketing at all, but. So now we'll wait and see how rivals respond to Starbucks shaking things up.